How's it going, Linfen fans? Welcome to another episode of Linden Subscriptions. My name is Billy. Linden's at VidCon, so I'm taking over. Some of you might remember me from Linden's Funny Skits. So Linden gave me his subscription, and he just said find something and watch from there. So I'm checking out scams that should be illegal by the channel The Odd Ones Out. Let's do it. Me and my twin sister used to share a single Neopet account. Did you? It was a dumb decision because it was completely free to make a second Neopet account, and we already struggled well, with it. sharing things in the non-virtual world. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like my, me and my sister, yeah, for sure. The reason we co-ran our Neopet account was because we didn't want to put our pets through a divorce, and because we wanted to save yeah, up so our sad. points for a paintbrush. Did for you? For you who grew up with real video games, in Neopets, a paintbrush was a super rare item that would change your Neopet's appearance based off the paintbrush you used. There were Christmas uh, paintbrushes, okay. baby paintbrushes, Guy Fieri paintbrushes, and an invisible paintbrush that just turned your Neopet invisible. Oh, that's not very Fine. nice. When I said that paintbrushes were a rare item, I meant it. You see, your average Neopet paintbrush would sell for about one to two million Neo points, and the most <laughs> my sister had ever saved up was about a hundred thousand. Why okay, did you spend not 3k on food? We're trying to get paintbrushes. Yeah. It was flower 67. Because you know, you know, forget forget eating and survival. You need paintbrushes. Birthday, and you spend 4k getting that stupid jacket. The jacket is cool, and you know it. One day, my sister went searching in the back alleys of the internet for other ways to obtain a paintbrush, and she stumbled upon this website that said, "Get free paintbrushes." And all she had to do was enter in her username and password, and they'd send oh, us okay. a fairy paintbrush. Ooh. And in a moment of desperation, she entered in the login details of our uh -oh. shared account into a... Kitty. <laughs> Kitty12 with the password, one, two, three, four. ...website, and you'll never guess what happened. What happened? We logged James. into our account, and there were three fairy paintbrushes in our inventory, and just kidding, we got hacked. And we lost all 100,000 of our Neo points, and we never oh, got the paintbrush we were What promised. a shame. But we learned a valuable lesson that day, which was, people will try to scam you, so trust. I remember playing Club Penguin as a kid, and um, there was this website that you could go to that would give you free, you, go, you entered your name, and it would give you free coins. But that actually gave you free coins, and there was no, there was no scam, it was just a no. hack. We were lucky enough to only lose virtual money, but some people aren't that lucky. On the That's internet, true. you have to deal with people trying to scam you constantly. There's probably comments underneath this very. I know someone lost real money because he's World of Warcraft kind of got a ha got hacked. Video of people using my name and profile picture saying, "Click on this link and get a free gift card," and they always use a stupid amount of emojis so their comment sticks out more. If you're on a YouTube video and you see a comment from that YouTuber, make sure it has a check mark because otherwise it's fake. If I ever use this many emojis i want you to shoot me scammers like to target <laughs> non-tech savvy people or what i like to call babies and baby boomers there's baby a lot of things boomers. you can do okay. to help prevent people from taking advantage of you on the internet but my rule of thumb is that if something sounds too good to be true it is, it is. no one's giving out free gift cards there's youtubers subscribe to my channel and you'll be entered into, into a draw to win a gift card and then they never give the gift card away Life man. Also, if you ever get a pop up saying your computer has a virus, call this number to fix it. <laughs> yeah. Don't. A guy with an Indian accent named Jason will charge you real money to fix the virus, but won't do anything. Because you never had a virus in the first place. Yep. But those are all illegal scams. That's scam People go to jail over those scams. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer from it every year. However, there are some scams that are, for some unknown reason, completely legal. Like and what? Frankly, I think we should reopen Alcatraz for the people who do these scams. So here's my list okay. of the top four legal scams that shouldn't be legal. The first legal scam is mobile games. I was doing a show with this nine-year-old kid okay. named Araya, and in the show he was going to punch me like this. And one day while we were rehearsing, Araya asked me, can I play some games on your phone? He downloaded a free game, and inside the game, you could buy a VIP member version oh, and no. give you extra lives and more skins. The thing that was a scam was that the app gave you the VIP member free for three days, then charged you six dollars a week. That's a dollar a day, not including Thursdays, to play some stupid <laughs> mobile game. It's more expensive than a Netflix subscription and a tasty, hot and ready five dollar Little Caesars pizza. Now, some of you might be thinking, Okay, yeah, that's a ridiculous price for a mobile game, but that's not a scam. They tell you how much it's going to cost right there on the screen. But here's the thing. Roughly What's zero thing? people bought the VIP member pass because they were fans of the game and didn't mind the price, 
No one is willing to pay a weekly bill for a game where all you do is this. Wow, when okay. hundred percent of the people who paid for the subscription are kids using their parents' phone and bought the VIP pass because they have no concept of money. That's and you true. you don't even have to enter in your credit card information. <clears throat> Fair enough if it's a one-time payment, but a fucking... So it's easier for every kids week. just to hit the purchase 6,000 gems button. It's targeting kids and I don't like it. Scam. True. I wish I had the confidence of a mobile game developer to charge someone $312 a year to play their stupid game. <laughs> My proposal to fix this scam is to ban mobile games entirely and everyone play Tetris 99. Nintendo Online is cheaper than the VIP Club subscription anyway. The second That's true. legal scam is college. Textbooks. We live in what? a society where all I, I, I'm the American. misconceptions are contained I don't on the internet. This. The third legal scam is psychics. I don't want to debate whether or not psychics are real, because they're not. My horoscope told me so. <laughs> My belief is that no one can talk to dead people because we're not living in a cartoon. What? Then who am I talking to then? If I can't talk to the dead people, then. Who am I talking to? Please tell me. And it just makes me sick that there are psychics who are taking advantage of people who are grieving and are so desperate to talk to That's their true. loved ones again that they'll try anything, even paying people to lie to them. Now, I don't think that every psychic out there is trying to scam people. Most of them okay. are. But I do think the there ghost are was a great movie. psychics who legitimately believe that dead people use them as a vessel to talk to their living relatives. And in their three eyes, they are helping and giving their clients closure. I understand that a very That's small nice. percentage of them are just trying to help. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because they're all fake. My solution to this scam is that you don't pay a psychic unless they can guess how much money you're going to pay them. Should be close to zero, hopefully. <laughs> and the last legal it's scam true. is multi-channel networks. Wait, do you guys oh, do that? Oh, don't get me started on these. Like Fuck you, Defy Media. When your YouTube channel starts growing, you'll get contacted by a multi-channel network, or MCN, and they'll make empty promises that if you join their network, they can help your channel grow and earn more money. No. And they'll brag about how many people they're are in their money network, themselves. when really that just means so there's scum. less of a chance they'll care about you. And all you have to do to join is give them a percentage of your YouTube money every month. And once you sign your soul away, what a network will actually do is nothing. Except take a cut of your money every month. It's like showing your dog a tennis ball and then... I'm sure LinkedIn is willing to give anyone who wants his YouTube money 100% of it. Because he makes absolutely nothing. Pretending to throw it. And then when the dog realizes he's chasing nothing, he's already signed a three-year contract to keep chasing the fake ball. <laughs> I know this last scam might not apply God, to everyone true. watching, but if this video helps at least one other that kind of, that kind of YouTuber funny. to not join an MCN, then it will have been worth it. So that's my list for the top four legal scams that should not exist and die. I don't think this video is going to actually change anything. People will always be greedy and try and get money any way they can. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully I was just as entertaining as Lyndon. Be sure to subscribe to his channel because he posts four times a week. Check out his latest really crazy questions over there. His latest quote over there. Why not check out his latest Lyndon fans Reddit? Why not check out last week's episode? And I'll see you guys. Whenever Lynn lets me back on his channel.